to another episode of Future Cyborg. I'm Russell. And I'm Todd. Hey, Todd. Perhaps you've heard of our fanzine, Future Cyborg, or our alternative publication, Needlepoint Celebrity. We just got back from KB Toys and scored these awesome Batman and Joker figures fresh out of a case. KB is almost 10 miles away, so we were happy to get them there. The cashier was a little mean and made fun of my weight problem as she searched for the price. She said if I was a superhero, I would be fat man. I guess my feelings are a little hurt. Eventually she told us that they're 285 a piece, but for that kind of harassment, they should have been less. I think the cashier was wrong in judging and labeling Russell. Regardless, these figures are from the toy line Superpowers, based on the hit cartoon of the same name. This is the second series of these figures from the toy company Kenner. Did you know Kenner was instrumental in securing diplomatic dialogues between world superpowers during the Paris Peace Conference of 1919? Oh. And now it's time to review the package. As you can see, both action figures come in a standard rectangular package in a plastic bubble. The cards are very bright and colorful, and the Superpowers Collection logo is in the top corner. There's also a Batman logo and a Joker logo. There is some great artwork by DC artist Jose Lopez. You mean Jose Luis Garcia Lopez? Yeah, that guy. Featured on the card is the Power Action Bat Punch and the Power Action Madcap Mallet. Also included within the package is a mini comic that describes an extraordinary adventure. <laughs> on to the back, you can see that all 23 figures are represented. And be sure to cut out the collector card on the back as well. It's sure to increase your figure's value in 30 years. Hello? Who is it? It's not a good time. No, I'm busy. No, Russell's not here. Okay. No. Maybe I can pick you up later. Nope. Oh, nope. Okay, bye. Spencer. Did you make the banana bread? Let's open the packages now. Let's review the sculptures. I'll start with Batman. As you can see, his pose and musculature has very defined contours. His anatomy is quite robust, similar to the comic book. His expression is also extremely comic book accurate. It's dignified and perfect in every way, only accentuated by his belt, his briefs, and his boots. As you can see, the pose is quite nefarious, and the attitude is criminal in every way. His clothing is perfect and sculpted with great care. Everything from his waistcoat, his pinstripe pants, and his spats are done quite well. The expression on the Joker has a very maniacal countenance and an extremely vile air about it. Everything is done beautifully, including his mallet, which contains a very disturbing visage of the Joker himself. As Cellini once said, the truth of sculpture does not lieth within the confines of time, but inside one's own tunic. Now let's talk about the playability of these action figures. They are brightly colored, a lot of fun to play with. They've got some good articulation too in the knees, the hips, the shoulders, and their necks. The superpowers action features on both figures are activated by squeezing their legs together. Batman has a great power punch action, and the Joker swings his mallet down. Ah! Our producer, Max, says it's time to wrap up the show. Isn't that right, Max? You got it, boys! And now for a pros and cons list. Pros. 1. Perfect sculptures. 2. Power action features. 3. The world's greatest detective meets the most nefarious criminal mind. And the cons. 1. Superpowers action figures are dangerous to play with. 2. KB Toys is too far away from my house. And 3. The cashier at KB Toys hurt my feelings. 
Thanks for watching another episode of Future Cyborg. And remember, always fight for freedom and live tomorrow like it's today.